Have you ever heard of the eighth wonder of the world? Today we're going to go through a case around Susie and Ricky. Susie, age 25, female, looking to start work next week, and her favorite color, maroon. Ricky, also age 25, male, starting next week on his first job. Oddly enough, his favorite band, Maroon 5. So Ricky and Susie, both starting work at the same time, have the same dream of walking away at age 65, but they have very different approaches. As I investigated them, I began to see young Susie, she was a bit of a dreamer. Her dream was to always tour the country, to be a guitarist, to actually go and play lead guitar at the Gorge and George. Well, her mission was to go and dream. She realized, I have to start saving today. And she said every month, every year, I would save $5,000 until age 35. Ricky, on the other hand, Ricky's a little more of a realist. I talked to Ricky and he said, I have student loans. I got to pay for my car. Rent is due. I can't save or invest now. I'm going to wait and do all that stuff when I turn 35. But I will save the same $5,000 a year until 65. So who do you think ends up with more? That was what the unsolved mystery was. <laughs> Susie saved $50,000 over 10 years. Ricky saved $150,000. While they both turned age 65 at the same time, only one can win. Okay, thanks. Carmen San Diego. What the question is, is who ends up with more, Ricky or Susie? And your answer is going to be based on this concept, which is deemed the eighth wonder of the world. Ba -ba -ba -ba! Compound interest. Now, compound interest overnight is one of the most vital pieces to your personal financial journey. Why? It's because it's been deemed the eighth wonder. It's this secret that very few and mostly only the wealthy understand. Don't take my word for it. Albert Einstein, one of the smartest minds to ever live, saw compound interest as so powerful, he deemed it the eighth wonder. And he went so far to say, those who understand it, get paid it. Those who don't, pay it. Quick side note to the future, credit cards or investing. Which side of the equation are you on? But this eighth wonder of the world is going to truly impact you starting today. So you saw on the chalkboard how compound interest works. Now let me give you an equation. The time value of money equation is your future value equals present value times one plus r exponential to the n. I don't think you need to understand that. And I know some of you just fell asleep. But what I want you to focus on in that equation and that formula is one thing. That little n up on the corner. That n signifies time. And that is something you can control. That's why we're starting today. How many n periods you can add to your formula will exponentially increase your returns. So let me give you a real life example. Now, if you see money as an employee, let me ask you this. Would you rather an employee go to work for you today or a year from now? I think we can all agree there is a lot more value that could be had from that employee if they went to work for you today. So let's go find out how Susie and Ricky ended up and why the compound interest, eighth wonder of the world, had such an impact on their journeys. Welcome back to the conclusion. Susie, Ricky, have experienced an entire journey, and yet one single factor changed their stories. At the end, age 65, who was the winner? This unsolved mystery. Susie comes out by $50,000 ahead at $550,000. How does it happen? Nobody will ever know. Okay, okay, so technically it's not an unsolved mystery. We now understand it was the eighth wonder of the world, compound interest. Susie learned how to use money. See that again? She not only used money, she also used time. The question of the day today, what is the most important factor in the time value of money formula? Some of you are awake for that? The action item today, go ahead and Google 
compound interest calculators, time value of money calculators. See what a thousand dollar investment turns into. Also go ahead and Google the other seven wonders of the world. That's just a fun one. And tomorrow we're going to answer a very simple question. What type of or are you? Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe and see you tomorrow.